Garrett Ward, until six years ago, no criminal record. In fact, until six years ago, no record at all. No DMV, no military, nothing. That's impossible. Unless he's the other time traveler that Doyle was talking about. Whoever he is, his record begins when he was arrested for bringing a backpack bomb into a global energy conference here in Manhattan. And what was his motive? Well, at the time, the authorities linked him to a radical eco group that was protesting the conference. According to his file, he's some kind of anti-science nut job. They found lots of Unabomber-style notebooks on him, decrying the destruction of the rightful kingdom of God by science and technology. What's his connection to Doyle? Nothing. What do you mean, not a... Guys, come on, it's so obvious. Look, Ward is the guy that Doyle was sent back in time to stop, okay? Ward was sent back in time on some history-altering mission that he failed to accomplish, ending up in prison. Six years later, he's trying to complete that mission, which is why Doyle has been sent back to now, because now is when the timeline changed. Well, I was thinking that maybe Ward and Doyle knew each other in the non-crazy world, like perhaps that eco-group that Ward was supposedly a part of. Okay, that was fun. But why would an anti-science nut torture and murder a parole officer? I mean, what's her connection to any of this? You still haven't found one. Why don't you guys go back in time and see if you can dig up any of Ward's known associates from six years ago. Castle and I will look into his case record, see if we can find a connection between him and Shauna Taylor, or perhaps figure out what his unfinished business was.